India's move to strengthen rail and road communication with neighboring countries is paving the way forward. Recently, the officers from India and Bangladesh reviewed the progress on Agartala Akaura railway project for which the work is scheduled to begin early next year. We have a report. The proposed 15-kilometer-long railway link from Agartala to Akaura will bring economic prosperity and strengthen people-to-people -people contact between India and Bangladesh. An eight-member delegation from Bangladesh recently met their Indian counterparts during the third meeting of the Agartala Akhora Railway Link Project Steering Committee in Agartala. They did a field inspection and visited Agartala Railway Station and Nishchintapur, the bordering village from where the proposed rail line will enter Bangladesh. India will build 15-kilometer railway tracks costing rupees 252 crores to link Tripura's capital Agartala with Bangladesh's southeastern city of Akhora, an important railway junction connected to Chittagong port, resource-rich Silet and Dhaka. We discussed the decision taken in the earlier meeting and we both sides are satisfied with the progress and we will finalize the project document and we'll uh, get approval from the appropriate authority and then we will start the work. And as you said, it's maybe in the end of this year or the next year, or the first half of the next year. An agreement to implement the railway project was signed in 2010 between the Prime Ministers of India and Bangladesh. With the new rail link, Northeast India would be connected to Chittagong International Seaport in Bangladesh. This will help in reducing the time consumed for transporting food grains and other essential commodities. Cooperation in the, develop, in the railway sector between India and Bangladesh is an important component of our bilateral cooperation program. There have been several projects which have been undertaken and this project in particular, when implemented, will be greatly beneficial to the people of our two countries. Surface connectivity is an important factor as India's northeastern states are surrounded by Bangladesh, Myanmar, Bhutan and China. The only land route to these states from within India is through Assam and West Bengal but it passes through over 70% hilly terrain with steep roads and multiple bends. India has for long been seeking land, sea and rail access through Bangladesh for ferrying good and heavy machinery to its northeast from abroad and other parts of the country.